19, what we're looking at here is we're looking to expand this. So when you expand, uh, what you want to do is either use any of the expansion rules that we have or just distribute. And the fact that we have this first and last term, there are these first and last binomial factors are same terms opposite sign between. That's the pattern. That's the A plus B times A minus B pattern. So if we think of that as fitting the pattern of the first term squared minus the second term squared, it's the sum and difference of terms can expand into the difference of their squares. We can simply combine these two and get uh, root 2x quantity squared, so that's just going to be a 2x, minus y squared, the second term squared. So here's what those two will expand to based on this pattern. Okay, which leaves this other 2x minus y squared to come down. Okay, so we now again have another pattern. Now we have a binomial square pattern. This is the pattern of a minus b squared. And so if you think of the pattern for this, it's the first term squared minus twice the product of the terms plus the second term squared. So you could either FOIL this out distribute it, which is the same thing, or you can apply this pattern. <coughs> I'm going to go through the pattern of it. So if we take our first term and square it, square the 2, square the x, then we're going to take the product of the terms and double it. So uh, 2x times a negative y squared gives you negative 2xy squared. Double that, we get negative 4xy squared. And then we can take our last term and square it. So negative 2 quantity squared is a positive y squared, or I'm sorry, negative 2, or negative y squared squared winds up being a positive y to the fourth. So this would be your expanded form for that expression.